was injured, but the store itself is a major loss for those living around it. Yeah, and 7 Action News reporter Brett Cass joining us now live from the store where neighbors and former employees uh, have been coming in to survey the wreckage, and I imagine it's pretty bad, Brett. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we just saw some workers put up this chain link fence around the building, but even so, you could probably still see the extensive damage to this building now buried in rubble. It's a total loss and an even bigger loss for the community. A Detroit grocery store completely engulfed in flames. Harper Food Center near Harper and Chalmers burnt to the ground in a matter of hours. And they've been in business for years. Uh, it, it's a, definitely an anchor for this community. Detroit firefighters knew this was more than just a building. They did their best to defend it, but the fire was too much. It already started involving the, the ceiling areas, the beams that supported the roof and everything else. So we pulled our people off and did what we call a defensive attack. The fire spread quickly with massive flames coming from the roof. By the time the fire was put out, the store was gone. They're going to miss this store right here. I'm going to miss working here. Grace Jones says she was a cashier here for three years. She no longer has a job, and neighbors no longer have a grocery store. You know, it was convenient for around here. Like This is like the only store for a couple miles down that way and that way. We need to make sure that our neighbors, our friends and family are taken care of over there. Phil Jones is a local chef and activist who works to fight food insecurity in the city. Even with other stores a few miles away, many Detroiters lack transportation. You'd actually be surprised how many people do walk to the store. And now we're going to find these folks walking to the convenience stores where the selection of fresh fruits and vegetables is almost practically zero. Firefighters say the store closed at 8 p.m. and caught fire just after 9 p.m. They are still combing over evidence, but right now all they know is that the store will be missed. It's going to really have an impact on the community because the people that would shop here, get their groceries and necessities here, are not going to have to go an awful lot farther to get the stuff they need. As you mentioned, the building is a total loss beyond repair, so it is unclear what the future holds for Harper Food Center. Reporting here on Detroit's east side, I'm Brett Cast, 7 Action News.